At the front of the village, the gang parked the Spectre Speeder, and afterwards everyone got out while Danny dragged Sam out. Well, we're here. Now what? I think we're going to have to find a place to stay and for Sam to give birth. Right. Okay, let's see. Everyone looked around till Twilight spotted an inn. Look, there's an inn. Twilight went up to the door and knocked. Then an old-looking ghost answered. Hello? Hi, we're from out of town, and, well, we need a place to stay because we got a girl in labor, and she needs to deliver the baby right away. Oh, I'm sorry, but we're full. What? Are you serious? My best friend and his girlfriend are about to have a baby, and you don't have any rooms? Or could you at least just let us in? I love to, but you're just going to have to find someplace else. Then the ghost closed the door. Great, looks like we're going to have to find another place. And quick, I don't think Sam can last this long. Ah! Guys, Sam isn't doing so great. Don't worry, Danny. I'm sure we'll find a place soon. The group continued to find a place to stay, but were having no luck. Every place they went seemed to have no room. Everywhere they went, there was just no place to go. Man, this place takes in everyone. You think? Where am I supposed to give birth now? On the street? Don't worry, Sam. You're gonna be okay. I think. Uh, excuse me. Everyone turned to two ghosts floating not too far from them. Hi, can we help you? My wife and I couldn't help but overhear that you need a place to stay. Yes, we do. Well, we're the owners of some cabins at the end of the village, and we have no one available. Are you interested? Oh, yes, thank you. We'll take it. Then it's settled. Please come with us. Everyone followed the ghost couple to a small cabin not too far away from where they were. Here we are. Please come on in. The ghost man unlocked the door, then everyone went in. Enjoy your stay. Inside of the cabin, there wasn't much except for a mattress on the floor, a small table, and a mirror. Look, Sam, there's a mattress for you to lay on. Good. Put me down there. Danny puts him down on the mattress. Okay, so now what? We have to deliver the baby. And how are we going to do that? Well, luckily, I brought a book with me all about the miracle of birth for humans. Wait, there's a book on how to give birth? How? I don't know. I just used my magic to look for in my library, and there I was. Well, I guess that makes sense. Okay, first we have to... Oh, what's wrong? Nothing, but I guess this won't be easy. Tucker, Jazz, Danielle, I'm going to have to ask you to wait outside. Okay, I mean, it would have been too gross to see anyway. Come on, Danny. Tucker, Jazz, and Danielle exited the cabin. Spike, I'm going to need your help with a few things. Okie dokie. Twilight looked through her book and did what it said. Ow! Twilight, are you almost done? Sam seriously can't take it anymore. Don't worry, Danny. Everything has been done. Now all we have to do is push the baby out. Ugh, finally. Sam, it's time. Time for what? Time for you to push. Great, more pain. Um, Twilight? Oh, don't worry. This behavior is normal. Now, before we get started, Spike, can you go stand next to that mirror over there? Why? I don't want you to seeing what's about to go down. Okay. Okay, Danny, would you please hold Sam's hand? Why? Because the father does that to help touch acts like a natural pain reliever. Okay, Sam, give me your hand. Sam grabbed Danny's hand. Okay, we're ready. Okay, now push. Sam started to push while also yelling in pain. While in the back of the room, Spike was listening to her screams. Wow, that sounds really painful. Spike, look away! Sorry, I'll cover my ears too. Meanwhile, outside, Tucker, Jazz, and Danielle were on the cabin's porch waiting. So how do you think it's going? I don't know. I hope well, especially since Danny didn't want to take Sam to a doctor. I was worried something might happen when we got here. But hey, Twilight has that book, so everything's good. Well, maybe it will or won't. Danny, I know you're still salty about all this, but remember, we're going to be ants, and we at one point may have to help Danny and Sam watch over the baby when they might want to have a date night, or if Sam has to help Danny fight ghosts. What do you think about that? Maybe if I like it. Just give her time. I'm sure she'll start to accept everything. Just then, from inside the cabin, there was a loud scream. Ah! Whoa! Fingers crossed, Sam and the baby are okay. Back inside, Sam let in some heavy breaths while still holding Danny's hand when suddenly the sounds of a crying newborn was heard. 
Congratulations, you two. It's a boy. Danny, what happened? He just gave birth to our son, the next ghost child. <sighs> Finally.